Hey guys, so winter is going to be here before we know it. Fall obviously is here. Temperatures have been going way down. Got that wind kicking back up and it just gives you that reminder that winter is going to be here pretty soon. Probably another, I'd say six weeks and we'll probably have snow flying around here. So this truck is five years old. It's got over 80,000 miles on it. It's an aluminum body truck, so I'm not really all that concerned about road salt on the body. But one thing about these Ford trucks is the frames, and especially in the rear, those cross members up above the spare tire, and even the receiver hitch, uh, have shown some signs of surface rust already. And uh, I'm just a little bit concerned about it. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's in pretty good shape, but I want to keep it that way. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put an undercoating on here. Um, basically just a layer of protection against the road salt. And I found a product that is relatively new. You know, a lot of people uh, for a long time have used a, a product called fluid film, but I found something the other day that I think is similar, but maybe even a little bit better than fluid film. So I'm going to show you that. Um, I mean, it's not, something that's like a secret or anything. It's been out for a little while, but I'll show you what I'm going to use. However, first thing I'm going to do is I've got a garden sprayer here that I obviously use to, you know, spray some herbicide from time to time, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some household cleaner. This is sort of like simple green. It's called mean green. I found it at Walmart. Uh, so I'm going to mix up some of this and I'm going to put it in my garden sprayer and just go through and spray the frame down real good. And then I will get out my Harbor Freight electric pressure washer and pressure wash the frame and the chassis real good. And the reason I'm going to do that is just to get all the gravel dust and everything off of it. You know, out here on these gravel roads, we get a lot of gravel dust and grime and dirt built up underneath the truck. And there's no sense in spraying a coating of stuff underneath there. Uh, with all that junk on the frame because it's probably not going to stick very well. So I'm going to use this product and just clean everything down real good. And then I'll give it time to air dry. Fortunately, today's a really nice day. Sun's out and it's about 80 degrees, so it should air dry pretty quickly. But I'll give it several hours to air dry before I start to apply the product. Now, as far as what I'm going to uh, put on the truck, here's what I found. So this product is made by the same company that makes the PB Blaster. Blaster products, uh, so they've got a lot of different products obviously. PB Blaster is the most famous one. But they've got this new product, or a relatively new product, called Surface Shield. And uh, like I said, it's probably similar to something like a uh, fluid film or something like that. But uh, from what they claim, this product right here is even better and they say that coverage can last up to two years. So in theory, if you clean your frame and chassis down really good like I'm going to do, and then cover it in this stuff, you shouldn't have to do this every year. Just every other year would be fine. Or in my case here in Kentucky, where we don't get tons of road salt, we just get snow maybe once or twice a month, this stuff might hold up for three or four years. I don't know. Now, as far as how much of this stuff you're going to need, I don't really know because <laughs> I've never done it before. But I saw one video where a guy said that he used two cans and he did a mid-sized truck. So I'm thinking that a full-size truck, you should be able to get away with three, maybe four cans. This case I bought has six cans in it. So if that guy did a mid-sized truck with two cans, which is kind of hard to believe, but that's what he said. Uh, if that's the case, then six cans you know, should do, you know, the whole truck very easily on something like a Super Duty. So we'll find out. But uh, something else I want to point out is look at the nozzle they put on here. Now, I was told that the newer production cans were going to go to a standard style uh, nozzle up here uh, for several different reasons. But one of them being that there's a particular attachment that some of the professionals use it looks like a hose and it has like a sprayer on the end and they use that to get up in the cavities and in the holes in the, in the frame. 
And with this type of nozzle, I don't know that you can use that attachment. Um, also, there are some add-ons you can put on these aerosol and paint cans where you can just snap a handle on there and then it's got a grip with a trigger and it just alleviates some of the stress on your hands. If you're spraying this stuff for a long while, it can cramp your hands, you know, if you're holding the can like this. You know, so they've got those attachments you can buy at the store that you just pop it on the can and then you've got a trigger. Uh, well, that won't work on these also, I think. So I was told that the company was going to change that up and put a normal style nozzle on the newer production cans, but obviously that has not happened yet. So FYI on that, um, I just bought these in uh, October of 23 and it's still got this on it. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm going to make do anyway. Not a big deal for me. So uh, let's get to it. So I stand corrected on that last part. Apparently these aftermarket uh, attachments you can put on these aerosol cans, it does work with that kind of nozzle, just FYI. So scratch what I just said a minute ago. If you've got one of these cool little things right here, look how nice that makes it. You can still use that. All right, so it's pretty important to go ahead and lower your spare tire because road salt and junk will get caught up in here pretty commonly. And it gives you an opportunity to clean out your spare wheel also. So you can see that I've covered all this with the cleaner, letting it soak for just a minute. And uh, now it's time to go through and pressure wash all this out and rinse it really well. And uh, like I said, then I'll just let it air dry and we'll come in here and undercoat it really good with that aerosol spray. And I'll kind of show you how that stuff goes on. So I got it all cleaned up and I moved the truck over there to the grass. I'm going to let it air dry over there so I can clean my driveway up and get that cleaner off of it. And when I spray that undercoating on the truck, I don't want that part to be getting all over the driveway. So I moved the truck over there on the other side of the van. Like I said, I'm going to let it air dry for a while and then we'll spray this stuff on. So it says after you shake the can, it says that you can actually apply this stuff over a tightly adhering rust so if you've got like some surface rust or something you can spray this over top of it and it also says that if your surface is a little bit damp you can still spray this over it so i'm going to go ahead and show you a clip of what it looks like unfortunately the audio crapped out on me but you can see that when this stuff goes on it just looks like a little bit of a clear coat or i mean it just looks like a film that adheres to all the surfaces that you spray it on. So uh, the other thing is you don't have to worry about plastic and uh, rubber, it says. So that means your bushings and brake lines and stuff like that, you don't have to take care to protect those. You can just go under the truck and just spray this stuff and you should be good to go. So here's what it looks like sprayed on. All right, so I have to show you an after clip so you can see what this stuff looks like after it's been on the frame for a little while. Check that out. It makes the frame look brand new. 
I'm gonna go up here to the front. Of course, this part looks like it's still drying a little bit. But I mean, you can see it makes the frame look brand new. And I guess this stuff will actually creep a little bit. So like these little holes here in the frame, I sprayed some in there and this stuff will kind of work its way around. Of course, I crawled up under the front end and got up under the front end the best I could. Uh, there's some cross members up in the front end that are notorious for rusting out. So I covered all of those real good, but this is the part that I can show you with the camera real easily. Of course, I got the control arms and everything, and I went all the way down the frame, got up under the uh, spare tire, up there where all those cross members are, up under the spare tire. I did all of that really good, but I mean, this stuff looks awesome when you put it on. Makes the truck look brand new. Now, question's gonna be, like I said, how's it gonna hold up over time? And what happens when you get a lot of gravel dust on this stuff? You know, will it coat the whole frame with gravel dust that's hard to get off? Time will tell on that. So obviously I'm gonna have to drive this stuff through the upcoming winter before I can give you a, a review on how it actually works. So stay with me, give me about four or five months here. You know, let me drive the truck in some road salt and pressure wash it a few times, take it through the car wash a few times. And, uh, and then we'll look at the frame and the chassis again and just see how this stuff actually holds up. Uh, and like I said, later this winter, I'll give you an update and we'll take a look at how this product actually holds up over time. But I think it's going to be pretty good and it looks like that these cans are going to go pretty far. So I think, uh, you know, we'll see how many cans it takes, but I think probably three or four cans is going to do the whole truck. So that's not bad either. I got this case of six for like $65, something like that. So if you can go under there and undercoat your truck yourself for 65 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Because if you take it to a shop and have it undercoated, they're going to charge you a whole lot more than 65 bucks. I can promise you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish the truck up and then uh, we'll check back in a few months and see how it looks. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.